A couple months ago, Dan and I were invited by the organizers of a stellar event to come and join them for the opening of their new unfiltered Stella. Now, I am morbidly upset and was gutted on the day. I couldn't actually make it due to other obligations. So heartbreakingly, I had to watch Dan turn up to a lock-in at the Marquis, one of my favorite pubs, one of his favorite pubs, and enjoy himself with free unfiltered Stella for the evening. I don't begrudge him, okay? Okay? It's one of those things we've all just got to deal with, with things in life, okay? So it's one of those things. But what I will say is, Stella did lose its touch, but it's got it back. Now, I'm not just saying this because they invited me, invited Dan, they gave us, you know, a bit of privilege, if you like, to come and join them on this event. But I used to love Stella. I really did, I loved it but it lost its edge when they reduced it. For many of us, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It lost that edge. This has brought it back. It's been too long for me to remember quite how good it really was, but this brings back so many memories, especially of my childhood. Once again, the special pub, the Marquis, was selected by Stella. We thank the Marquis, we thank Stella. We've always had such special treatment from the Marquis, and I really have to thank the organizers at Stella for inviting me and Dan, even if I couldn't attend, and for giving Dan this, which got me a couple of free pints that I couldn't attend, how nice of them. <laughs> but as you can see, it's been, it's been danned, you know? It's been danned, so it's all scrunched up. Luckily, it still works, and you can see Stella will be providing crisps. So I've yet to try them, but I'm sure I will. So as always, to Tommy at the Marquis, to Stella Artois, thank you very much from Britain's Lost and Living Pubs and we hope to see you soon.